Welcome to the continuation of the tour of the PAA 2021 meeting platform. In this video, we're going to focus on the sessions section of this platform. When you come to the website, the first thing you're going to do is log in. So click the login link. To access the site, you need to be registered and you need to use your PAA online credentials. Those are the same credentials you used when you registered for the meeting. If you need to reset your password, you can click this button. If you need more information about how to log in, check out the guide. If nothing is working, please email us at info at or direct message us on Twitter. Let's go ahead and sign free. To access all the sessions, you're going to click this link, Sessions. It can take a few seconds to load because it's loading a lot of information, so please be patient. All right, so the site will automatically take you to whatever sessions are upcoming. So as it's a week before the meeting, it's taking us to the first sessions held on May 5th. If it was May 6th in the morning, it would take us to this May 6th tab. If whatever meetings are coming up on May 6th, you can uh, easily navigate through. Uh, you can collapse these so you can easily get to a set, uh, set of sessions that you're interested in. Um, you can go through all the days are posted. So let's take a look at an actual session. We'll take a look at didactic understandings of family and health. Let's click on that. So on this page you're going to see all the information about the session itself. You're going to take a look at the chair, the discussant, it gives you the time and the date, uh, and then the title of each presentation, a link to the short abstract, which takes you here so you can learn more, and a link to the full paper if it's available, which takes you here. Uh, and then you have information about the presenting author and the co-authors for each presentation that will be given during the session. Now, at this point, if you want to go back to where you were, you want to click your browser's back button. If you want to go back to where the meeting is currently, you're going to click back to session. One thing to note when you're looking at a session and you're ready to attend a session, you'll see a button here. Well, um, this button will change to one that says, uh, you know, enter the meeting or something like that. So that's when you know you can enter the meeting to view the session. All right. So a couple of great features of this site. First in the search. The search searches on almost everything. So chair name, institution, discussants, presentation, our presenters and their institutions, uh, pre presentation titles, topics, uh, and session titles. So let's say we want to see all the sessions or where somebody named uh, William is presenting. You'll need to click the search box button to execute the search. And so these are all the sessions where there is a William. And you can also search on affiliation. So let's say we want to see everyone at Brown University. Again, click the search button. and it will bring up every session that has a person involved with it from Brown University, assuming that person has entered their affiliation. So, um, I say, oh, well, this looks really interesting, the natural disasters and migration in the United States. I really want to see that. So I'm going to go ahead and click the star. That's going to save this session to a list of sessions that I can easily access from um, the link here, or on the main sessions page tab right there, my favorites. So this is a list of sessions I have saved. The other nice feature is you can add these sessions to your Google Outlook or iCalendar um, calendar. Uh, you just click one of the three, though whatever works best for you. It will download a um, meeting invitation, open it, save it, and now it's in your calendar. The other nice feature is with time zones. 
This meeting is being held in the Central Daylight Time Zone. Not all of us live in the Central Daylight Time Zone, so it might be more convenient for us to have these times display in our local time zone. I'm currently located in the Eastern Time Zone, so I want to change the times to reflect my time zone. So I'm going to click Change, and then I'm going to select my time zone, which is right here. I'm going to click Select. You're going to see a little thing show up, and now the times are changed. So now they display in Eastern Daylight Time. This should make it easy for you to remember what time the sessions you're interested in will happen. The other items you should be aware of are the specific list. If you only want to see oral sessions, you'll click the oral session link. If you only want to see flash sessions, you can click the flash session link and all the flash sessions will come up. The same for the fantastic invited sessions. You can quickly access those here. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, this is all the features that you can um, use for the PAA 2021 annual meeting. We look forward to seeing you next week. There will be two more videos available, one about the poster section and one about the chat and networking. Thank you for joining us.